The electronic balances that we have are a wonderful piece of equipment to help us measure masses very quickly and very accurately. However, they're often one of the biggest sources of error in labs, mostly because button. of the misuse of the That'll tear subtract button. the weighing dish. Uh, the tear now, button is located right here on these particular balances. And uh, what it does, it basically subtracts whatever's on the balance. Right now you can see that the balance reads zero. If I put an object on the balance, such as this beaker, uh, we can see that the mass has changed. If I hit the tear button, that subtracts it. And now you see the mass still reads zero, even though there is something on the balance. Now, if I want to know the mass of the beaker, um, I want to make sure that it says zero before I put the beaker on. So I would hit tear. Now it says zero. Now I'll put the beaker on, and I'll have the mass of the beaker. If I then were to put an object in it, as is, now I have the mass of the beaker and the substance that is in the beaker. I have both. However, many times in lab, we're not interested in the mass of the beaker or the mass of the weighing dish. We're interested just of the mass of the chemical that we're putting in it. So, for example, if I have some sugar, and I want to know what mass of sugar that I'm using, I'll obviously need to put something down. I never will put a chemical directly on the pan, so I'll need either a beaker or a weighing dish, such as this one. I'll put that down. Now right now it's showing me the mass of the weighing dish, 1.47 grams. If I add the sugar to it, that'll be the mass of the sugar and the weighing dish. But I don't want the weighing dish, so I can hit the tear button. That'll subtract the weighing dish. And now I can pour the sugar in. And the mass that it's giving me now, 5.69 grams, is simply the mass of the sugar. So the big thing to remember when you're using the balance is you want the balance to say zero before you put whatever you're measuring. Okay, so if I want to measure the beaker, I want to hit zero first. Now I put the beaker on, now that's the mass of the beaker. If I pour the sugar in that, now since I didn't hit zero now, that will be the mass of both the beaker and the sugar. So you just have to be really careful of when you push that tear button so that you know exactly what this number you're seeing down here is measuring. And that's one of the biggest sources of error uh, that we have in our labs.